Welcome to Cuff Havoc number two. Happy Veterans Day to my fellow brothers and sisters at arms. Um, when I get to work today, I'm going to make two songs. Um, still working on it in my head, but happy Veterans Day to everyone here. Um, to my 102 followers, happy Veterans Day. If there, any of you are vets, then thank you for your service and thank you for being here. All right, so I'm about to get off and watch um, McDojo Life, but um, I'm going to um, first make sure I got all my stuff that I just deleted off this camera on my YouTube channel, which I do. So um, I made some videos last night about um, no one wants to see their idols be dark or their heroes be dark. There was no truer statement than um, don't meet your idols, kids, because they're never what you think they are. You no. Know? I plan on being the exception to the rule. I actually am the exception to the rule because there's very few people who see me filming that I reject them when I when they ask me questions. I tell them, you know, honestly, if you wait till I'm done, I will answer everything you need. Now, I can do that because generally when I'm making films, they're mine. You know, and um, first let me apologize to everybody on YouTube because of the fact that my Scarlet Spider fan film is having some issues. I need to find a terabyte, and right now money is exceptionally tight. I am close at work with getting my um, my uh, book deal damn near complete, so it should be completed by March. I need to contact them tomorrow. I plan on contacting them today, but it's raining and I have work, and I more than likely won't be able to do any martial art videos tonight unless I do them in the basement and it's hard to say if that's gonna even be remotely a possibility because of the limitations of the basement space. That being said, we will have to see where I will be stuck doing a video like this and that kinda sucks. But um, yeah, I wanted to say Happy Veterans Day to the veterans. I have approximately 10 minutes before a class so I need to be getting my ass in gear. You know, so we're gonna um, we're gonna work on that, and we're gonna hope like hell that I get after I get out of class, I'm gonna shave my face and get everything else out of the way. No, and we'll see how it goes from there. No. Also, if anybody has any suggestions on how I can get sponsors, because I would never want to ask anybody on a YouTube channel or Instagram channel to like do Patreon and stuff like that. And though my crush is doing that, you know. I don't know what any of that shit is, to be honest. I know what sponsors is. I just don't have any. And if I had it, some, that would be great. And if you guys can point me in the direction on how to get some, that would be great, too, because I would love to be able to do this for a living outside of going to school for police science and criminal justice, which I don't want to do, but I have to do because I need a job. Outside of that, you know, and fighting the army for money, all, all kinds of things are going on in my life right now. But a lot of things, if people have paid me back, half my problems would have been over. But people don't pay me back, and that kind of fucking sucks. So, you know, that and a whole lot of praying. So if you're out there, please pray for me. Thank every veteran that you meet. Thank every veteran that you know. You don't have to buy me a meal because I'm not that big on eating. But, you know, pay it forward. Um, just thank all the veterans, man. Please. Because without them, without us, without them, we don't sleep well at night. These guys go and risk their lives to protect this country and the people who live in it. So, you know, slap a little dough their way, slap a free meal their way, slap a lot of fucking understanding their way. Uh, one in 50 vets commit suicide at least once or twice a month, twice a week. So you should probably do that thing. And if you are a vet and you're watching this and you're thinking about that, I'm with you. But I did get help from the military for one thing that they did give me help. They did give me a military psychiatrist. So thank you, Dr. Bishop. And you guys should do the same. Don't be ashamed to ask for help. That's probably the best thing of courage that you can do. Is don't be ashamed to ask for help. Thanks for watching. And good night. Good day. Whatever.